We are here in Kittery, Maine at Shapley Middle School to introduce 160 middle school students and about 20 teachers to the science and technology behind crime scene investigation. The CSI Camp program is a program that was started in Dallas, Texas at DeCruz Institute of Engineering. We include numerous hands-on activities and expert presentations to really engage students in learning and understand that it's not just solving equations and doing science experiments, there's more behind it. CSI is a really popular subject. It's on the news, it's on TV, and kids like to solve mysteries. Inherently, it's something that kids like to do, so why not show them that they can use math and science and really do a good job to solve those crimes? This great program was actually started by Dr. Dolores Etter. She is executive director of our institute. She runs a biometrics lab, and she realized that a lot of the work that they're doing on the undergraduate and graduate level for clients applies to what students are learning in sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. The CSI Summer Camp program started in 2010 with a pilot program in Dallas. We offered the program for 80 girls, and it was such a success, we had such great feedback, we decided that we'd reach out to the Office of Naval Research for funding and develop a three-year summer camp program. We've been offering that program in Dallas ever since. We've taken the program nationally, hence why we're here in Kittery, Maine, doing the CSI Camp for a Day program in military-connected communities across the country. Our military children are often shortchanged on enrichment experience because of their frequent transitions. And additionally, the opportunity for us to bring an educational experience to our students here in Kittery focused on STEM was very important. The CSI Camp for a Day program is actually a condensed version of our summer camp. So we take a five-day program and condense it into five hours. What we do is we start out with a presenter in the morning, give an introduction to CSI, how to investigate crime scenes, and then we introduce a mock crime. We break students up into units and they work together throughout the day to use the evidence they collect from that crime scene and investigate the crime to eventually determine who the perpetrator was. Looking at the crime scene, all these thoughts were processing through my mind. What was there? What could be evidence? In a crime scene, you have to use science to know what would happen. It's so exciting to see the kids get involved in the crime scene camps and get so invested in trying to find the kidnapper and then see how math and science can be used in a practical and applicational way in our real life. Throughout the day, they'll do a couple of fingerprinting activities. They'll do face recognition and paper chromatography to help to narrow down a list of suspects and ultimately solve the crime. We were fortunate today to have multiple police departments represented here, which is a wonderful thing for our students to see, positive, enthusiastic role models. We also generally include a local canine unit in the afternoon. It's a lot of fun to bring the dogs in and kids can see how animals actually help in CSI as well. I really enjoyed the canine um, presentation. I thought it was really cool to see kind of the bond between the dogs and you know the people and the police officers to see that they you know work that hard so they can use them as usefully as they can. It shows students that more than just being excited about science and math, it's something they can actually do in their lives and it opens up that possibility for the students. I saw the looks on children's faces today as they engaged 100%. We had kids totally engaged, totally motivated and excited about learning. What this program does so well is teach kids not just how to do math and science, but what is math, what is science, how is it being used, and get them passionate about doing math and science. I thought that the face um, scanning kind of thing was cool because you can actually you know, use the math and the ratios to find out you know, the connections between people and evidence. That sort of taught me how to use ratios in real life situations, which I think would definitely be helpful when you're building and scale modeling um, anything. During the face recognition, if I didn't get exact measurements, it wouldn't help me that much. Same with me being older. When I want to be like an engineer, I have to get exact measurements if I wanted to build the thing that I that the people want me to build correctly. I think today they saw firsthand that if they indeed are leaning toward that kind of a career in crime scene investigation, it's not just all fun, that there's hard work involved in it, there's a science, that they need to attend to their science in math. Today could not have run smoother, and it was because of all of the work that was done in advance by the Kruth Institute to make that happen. 
I think they did an excellent job. It was very well set up and I don't think there was a time where we didn't have something to do. This is such an amazing program and I watched how transformational it's been for some of the students who have been through it. We've got such a great curriculum, we've got such a great program. Let's see if we can expand it and just really get kids excited about STEM education. Since 2010, we've reached over 1,000 students and over 250 teachers around the country. This program would not have been possible without the support and expertise of Dean Mark Christensen from our Lyle School of Engineering, where the Carruth Institute is housed. He's been a big proponent of this program and has really made it possible to expand not only in Dallas, but around the country. The way we've developed the program, the curriculum actually goes into the hands of the teachers and the communities that we work with. We're giving them the materials and skills necessary to do it on their own so they don't have to keep coming back to us and having us lead it. So it really is a scalable program and a sustainable program. Today we gave our students an opportunity to look deeply and to think deeply. And those are the skills that we truly need to have our students be successful in the 21st century.